Not just Florida legend, international legend. We were doing a film where Charlie Paterni and I had you trapped inside of a warehouse. They rolled the camera and we said, come on out, Seamus, we know you're in there. Through the window, Burt Reynolds come flying, hit me and Charlie, tore the window all apart. I flew through the air about 10 feet. You are the pioneer for, for all filmmakers in Florida. Um, and, I, and I look at you like the guy who paved the way. I'm thrilled to be here tonight with you to share this wonderful honor of being awarded the Film Florida Legends Award. No one deserves to receive an award such as this more than you. I thought I was a lady killer until I saw a true assassin come on my set. I mean that in the highest way. I'm proud to have shared the screen with you. You're a classy guy, you're funnier than hell, and where's my 20 bucks? Bud, I think you deserve this award for the Florida Legends. You're an icon. Hi, Uncle Bud. Congratulations. Over the years, our family has shared the excitement of your outstanding career in the movie business. We are so very, very proud of you. It was in 1989 when I was auditioning for the Burt Reynolds Institute. You said, as if you knew how terrified I was, don't worry about it if you're not a great dancer. What's important is that you sell it. It just is really difficult to put into words what the impact that you've had on not only me, but so many people. I want to congratulate you on being a, a Florida legend. They couldn't do any better. You deserve it. You are the real deal. You're a legend. God bless you. From an iconic actor to an iconic landmark, this Welcome next clip Palm from the Worth Avenue Worth story Avenue. shows the engaging personality of James Ponce, whose tours of the Avenue have been immortalized on film. Now, another thing, you notice how clever he was. Looking down the via, you can't see through to the next avenue. There's a bend in it. That sort of perks your interest. You know, there must be something around the corner, so let's head down there and see what's back there. So come with me. James Ponce also brings history to life in Down by the Breakers, a film that takes viewers on a journey through time at the Breakers Palm Beach. So start we here at the portrait of Henry M. Flagler. You know that was quite a man. No other single individual has ever developed as much of this nation as Henry Flagler did in developing the entire east coast of Florida, all the way from Jacksonville to Key West. Uh, what you see here, the fact that Palm Beach is such a noted resort, all a direct result of Flagler coming to Florida. Not far from Palm Beach, in the beautiful waters off the coast, the production team from Shallow Water Angler TV shot a segment at the Juno Beach Park and Pier. No matter what pier you're fishing, you can always learn something new. Everywhere you go, People will have different tackle, different bait setups, and different techniques. And everybody has their own little tricks. And sometimes they'll even share them with you. But the best suggestion I can give to anybody interested in pier fishing is get advice from the locals. Flying high above the Palm Beach County coastline is Vision Airlines. This new airline decided to film segments of their electronic press kit at Palm Beach International Airport and over downtown West Palm Beach. Comar Productions was hired to capture footage of the 767 from a helicopter, a daunting task that Comar President Todd Kolich and his pilot, Dan Crow, pulled off without a hitch. The groundbreaking reality program, America's Most Wanted, is constantly in pursuit of America's most wanted fugitives. To date, over 1,100 fugitives have been captured worldwide. The show has worked many times with local law enforcement to help solve many serious crimes. In an effort to help the local homeless population, a Palm Beach County Homeless Advisory Board was created. A 10-year plan to end homelessness in Palm Beach County has been implemented and is featured in the DVD, 10 to End. You have to make a commitment, you know? It's, it's like it's get, getting the, the homeless people off the street in 10 years or whatever. That's, that's going to be a huge commitment. For more information, visit thehomelessplan.org. 
Science Screen Report has been a trusted source of objective science news reporting for nearly 40 years. Produced by Allegro Productions in Boca Raton, the award-winning DVD series and its elementary level edition, Science Screen Report for Kids, focuses on the most recent developments in science and technology. One of the most electric documentaries that shot this past year is the feature-length film, What is the Electric Car? The film premiered at the Norton Museum of Art as part of their Art After Dark series and can be seen around the country at film festivals. It corners well, it's very sleek and sexy looking, but it seats five. It's a great family car. And I think the Chevy Volt has is, is got the potential to change the world. I, mean, I think it's a fantastic product. And we also want to show that driving an electric car, even across country, is viable. This car goes 244 miles on a charge. It goes from zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds. The documentary, Brother Towns, about immigration from a small community in Guatemala to the coastal resort town of Jupiter, Florida, shows how two towns have thousands of paths connecting them. The immigration has been going on here for decades and hundreds of years and will always have immigration. There will always be people from the third world countries trying to seek a better life. It's not just people that take remarkable journeys. Loggerhead turtles take one of the most extraordinary journeys in the natural world. Turtle, the incredible journey, the epic adventure documentary that shot at Gumbo Limbo Nature Center and on the beaches of Boca Raton and Juno Beach was picked up by SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment and will be seen in over 200 locations around the U.S. In this next clip, these award-winning public service announcements show you the funny as they provide information on job opportunities for young people in Palm Beach County. So, you are looking to enter the marine and environmental science field. Do you have any experience? Boop, boop. Ah! Clear! Stay away from the lights! Stay away from the lights! Cody! <laughs> <laughs> Discover marine and environmental science. Get hooked on your future. For more information, visit industriesofthemind.net. The PSAs you just saw were created by the Palm Beach County Film and Television Commission in partnership with the Palm Beach County Economic Development Office and the Palm Beach County School District. They won top prize at the 48th Annual Addy Awards, Best in Show, and a Golden Addy. Another video created for young people is the music video How You Love Me Now by alternative rock band Hey Monday. The video was shot at an elaborate oceanfront estate in Delray Beach. Renowned music superstar Celine Dion filmed the video for her song A New Day Has Come at Du Bois Park in Jupiter. The album debuted at number one in over 17 countries. Country star Alan Jackson came back to the Castaways Marina and Square Grouper Tiki Bar in Jupiter to film a music video for his song, Long Way to Go. Jackson previously shot It's Five O'Clock Somewhere with Jimmy Buffett several years ago at the local hotspot. It's five o'clock somewhere. One of the most versatile outdoor locations, the Loxahatchee River, can double for Jurassic Park, or Deep Jungle Louisiana, or as seen in this music video, the swamps of Alabama. In fact, many of Palm Beach County's locations are featured in the many independent films that shoot locally each year. One of those films, Turkles, received its own special day. The Palm Beach County Board of County Commissioners gave Turkles producer-director-writer Frank Eberling and his crew a proclamation declaring July 14, 2011 as Turkles Day family-friendly environmental mystery comedy full-length film um, bringing the awareness of uh, sea turtles. It is filmed with the assistance and cooperation of Palm Beach State College, students five Palm Beach County High School film and television departments and their students with more than 50 uh, young actors from Palm Beach County. In a perfect world, on a perfect beach, on a perfect day, the kids from Camp Loggerhead discover something diabolical. It's just a really big loss. If God is my witness, I'm 
gonna find out who stole these turtle eggs. Another locally shot film, The Atonement Tablets, filmed in the Everglades and at G-Star Studios. The made-for-TV movie stars stage and screen star Avery Summers and former newscaster Chandra Bill. The largest feature film to shoot in Palm Beach County recently is Parker. This high-stakes Westlake adaptation stars many A-list superstars, such as Jennifer Lopez, Jason Statham, and Nick Nolte. The film was directed by Taylor Hackford and is set to hit theaters in October 2012. What I would say to people is, listen, if you're coming to Florida, you're coming for a specific reason. The look, the beauty, the tropical nature and weather. You take what you can get and you take, us, take it as it comes and if you hang in there, you roll with the punches, you're going to come out with some really fantastic images on film. Shooting here with Jennifer Lopez, with Jason Statham, with our entire cast and crew, what can I say? We were welcomed, we worked very, very hard. Uh, I have the best feelings about Florida, uh, especially Palm Beach County, and uh, I want to come back. Hollywood shut down traffic in Palta Palm Beach today. It was all for Jennifer Lopez's new movie, Parker. Randy Gyllenhaal was there for the action, and he continues 11 minutes of nonstop news from Palm Beach. Randy? Hey guys, well if you were downtown tonight, you really couldn't miss it. A lot of commotion, even some bridges shut down. You might have thought a crime was in progress. Turns out, just Hollywood dropping in. It's an all-out search. Choppers fly overhead. It's, it's pretty uh, crazy. Police boats prowl the water. They're hunting down a jewelry thief. And if it looks like a scene from a movie, that's squarely because it is. This is the establishing shot. Chuck Elder is the Palm Beach Film Commissioner. He helped get the movie Parker, starring Jennifer Lopez, to be shot downtown. It'll net the county $1.4 million. Today's production was a chase scene. This is a very critical scene in the movie. This is where the jewel thieves are getting away with the jewels. The film crew had to close all three bridges downtown. In the movie, police are trying to keep the thieves from escaping the island. In real life, it got the attention of hundreds of onlookers. Kind of chaotic. Yeah, lots of helicopters, cop cars, planes. Kelly Kenny and her friends are big JLo fans, and just by chance, they got an up close look behind the scenes. We saw, I saw JLo like yeah, from her she car. She like her. waved at me, and like it was really cool. Rolling. Rolling. We caught up with the star again at her next location, shooting her final scene of the night. It's not unusual to see celebrities in Palm Beach, but throw in helicopters, hundreds of extras in a high-speed chase, and you've got movie magic you'll soon be seeing on the silver screen. Well, no word yet on a release date for the movie, but the Film Commission says it'll do great things for tourism in the county, and tomorrow those film crews are going to be down in Boynton Beach. But for now, we're live on Palm Beach. Randy Gyllenhaal, WPBF 25 News. Students from all over Palm Beach County, as well as other film schools and academies around the state of Florida, are also very active in the annual Student Showcase of Films, a companion event to the Palm Beach International Film Festival. More than $10,000 in scholarships and awards are given away each year to Florida high school and college students during a special ceremony. This year's student showcase took place at the Keith C. and Elaine Johnson Wald Performing Arts Center in Boca Raton. Palm Beach County boasts not one film festival, but seven in all. Each festival has its own unique flair that attracts thousands of film enthusiasts each year. In a place where five star is par for the course, custom made is a given, and the VIP treatment is non-stop, Palm Beach County continues to be a filmmaker's paradise. Now you know what is happening behind the scenes in Palm Beach County. For Channel 20 and the Palm Beach County Film and Television Commission, I'm Suzanne Needland. Thank you for watching.